Hello everyone, today we're going to be interviewing Catherine Trombley and asking her about her Slago lecture on occupation, purposefulness, and meaningfulness as therapeutic mechanisms. So Catherine, if you wanted to begin by telling us a little bit about this message you're aiming to send out through this lecture, that would be appreciated. Okay, perfect. Hi guys, thanks for interviewing me today. So yeah, the therapeutic aspect of occupation is what attracted me to the profession of occupational therapy. So I had a friend that was in, enrolled in an OT program in New Hampshire, and I was very intrigued by the fact that the education there was based on the knowledge of completing crafts. Um, so out of my education and experience in the profession, I want to complete the conceptual picture of occupational therapy and by doing that by using concepts that are backed by research. That's a great message to be taken away from this lecture. It seems like you did a great, great job making that very clear. What would you say that the key takeaways from this lecture would be? So my goal is to spark an explosion of research concerning therapeutic occupation, which I did mention in the lecture. I also pulled together evidence for whether occupation is therapeutic and how it is therapeutic. So because occupations are typically meaningful and purposeful, that is what makes them therapeutic. By working to improve skills, the setbacks because of disease or injury became less and less, and the ability started to improve the more the work that got done. So although these beliefs are still being taught today, there's not much research around them. So that's what I have worked to change about the field, and the idea that we should utilize research to, um, should be taken away from my lecture. That makes a lot of sense, and I think we have been really capitalizing on research and how this is a field that is backed heavily by it. It is important to also take note of how things in this field have changed over time. So how would you relate your experience to the profession? So great question. OTs use their time with clients wisely by incorporating meaningful and purposeful activities within their sessions. So to do this, it is important to grasp what clients occupy their day with by communicating effectively in the initial evaluation. So generally, this should be one of the first conversations happening when connecting with a new client. In the past, crafts were seen as something to distract the client from falling into a manic or depressive state, but after time has gone on, I think it's really important to realize that we're not trying to distract someone, we're trying to stimulate their minds in order to work themselves out of a place that may allow them to fall in the, into these states and to keep them engaged in things that take focus and determination. That explains the connection of your experience to the profession very strongly. We agree it is important to establish those ideas with the client before moving forward with any plan of intervention. On another note, were there any significant historical events that took place during this time? With all that's going on in the world right now, how do you feel like how that has impacted your perspective on adopting and maintaining occupations that give us meaning and purpose in our, to our lives? So that year we have had so many disasters that left so many individuals feeling like their whole lives have been taken from them. So for example, the Oklahoma bombing at the beginning of the year left a lot of people with uh, the feeling that they just had everything stripped from them and many people truly did. So for those individuals who are now left with some physical deficits or mental deficits, maintaining meaningful occupations is really going to aid in their recovery physically, um, not only physically, but also targeting the mental health aspect of occupational therapy. That's really interesting for you to point out. I think we can all agree that those are all events that have impacted our society and shaped our field into what it is <laughs> become today. Um, it's interesting to hear about how these events have impacted people and how through the field of occupational therapy, we can work to help them out and find purpose and meaning of life again. Occupational therapy is a field that has been constantly evolving, so how do you feel as if you have had to adapt to your practice? So the field of OT is definitely an ever-evolving field, and I feel as if my practice has only been further proven by the occupational therapy world um, and how it's continuously changing. So we now have a much higher population of older adults who are retiring, and that has proven to be a huge reason of why meaningful occupations are so important. Uh, living a life that has purpose is a huge component in keeping us active and healthy and from what we are seeing from the work that is going on now, I do believe that in the future we are only going to see more and more evidence that the occupations we choose to engage in are so important in having a therapy session that is as effective as possible. Agreed. After addressing all the information we've talked about this far, um, what do you hope people take away from this lecture? Um, I just hope that occupational therapists understand the importance of incorporating purposeful occupation and meaningful occupation into therapy. I also um, hope that there is more research to be conducted concerning therapeutic occupation and the effect that it has on individuals. Yeah. I think that's a really great point. Research is very important so that all of our knowledge is backed up by trial and error. How do you think those effects will influence the profession today and in the near future? 
Uh, I believe that these therapeutic occupations will be more widely used within this profession, for sure. So for example, mental health is a much more prominent topic of discussion in the OT field, and occupational therapists work on helping with this. So they can include purposeful and meaningful occupation in sessions to help target those specifically dealing with mental instability. That's a great example to bring up. I believe mental health is much more addressed in today's world uh, than it was whenever, uh, whenever you gave your lecture. And another aspect of occupational therapists, um, how can they help beyond physical limitations or how they do help beyond phys or physical limitations? So, um, oh, sorry. Do you're <laughs> uh, we do have one last question. How do you think therapists and students can relate beyond the content of your lecture? So therapists and students can both learn what purposeful and meaningful occupations are and they can turn in turn get creative on how to deliver these therapeutic interventions into their sessions. So I think it's important, you know, to realize that there's now so many factors and so much more about the field and um, slowly incorporating those into the sessions can, you know, make the field progress. Yeah, I agree. Well, thank you so much for coming on here and talking to us and we'll be back next time. <laughs> thank you for having me and I hope you guys learned a lot about um, my lecture. Yes, we did.